So in a previous web dev tip, we looked at how to set up a Netlify function and run it locally to provide some data to a front end app. In this tutorial, what we're going to do is look at how to access query parameters and then use them in your Netlify functions. So uh, in the, we've got the previous uh, example, uh, hello world uh, function that we set up previously. What we're actually going to do is configure this and make it respond to query parameters that are passed in to the URL. So for example, we might say our name is uh, James here. And at the moment that works fine. It doesn't cause a problem, but we want to make use of this query parameter that we're passing in. Uh, so the way we do that is uh, we've got these different uh, objects that are passed in to the handler function. And the important one we've got here is the event, which has got all the information about the actual way the function's being called. So uh, inside of there, we can access uh, some query parameters, which is actually on a property called uh, query string parameters. And that will just be an object of all the key value pairs uh, that's inside of our query string. So for example, uh, we'll have a property called name, and the value of that property will be James. So uh, we can just access the name property like so. Oops, and I haven't actually created a variable there as well. So let's just uh, say const name is equal to uh, event.querystringparameters.name. And so now the name variable uh, will actually hold uh, whatever value has been passed into this query parameter. So instead of saying hello world, uh, what we could do is if we uh, just uh, quickly change this to a template literal, uh, we can make use of that name variable inside our response. Uh, so if we save that and just rerun the function, you can see now whatever we pass into here uh, is being actually uh, used in the function and used to customize the response that we're giving. Of course, if we don't provide the actual query string here, we're going to get a bit of a problem uh, because uh, although the query string parameters property will exist on the event, there'll be nothing in there, so name will be undefined. Uh, so we could just pass in a default value using the or operator, uh, just say, for example, right, so let's change it to a stranger. If we save that and rerun the function, you can see if we don't pass that value in, uh, then we've got a default value for name. That was just a quick little tip on how to pass in query parameters into uh, Netlify functions. Make sure you stay tuned for more web dev tips.